AI is my secret weapon for writing better and writing more than I ever could before. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 most powerful prompts you can use to uplevel your writing using AI. But first, before we get into the prompts, I want to clarify which AI tools you should use for this. And first and foremost, ChatGPT with GPT-4. That means the paid version because 3.5 is going to give you subpar results. But if you want to do all this for free, you can do that using Bing set to creative mode. So the first way we can use AI to improve our writing is to get it to help us edit and rewrite things that we've already written. This works for any kind of writing from essays, articles, tweets, titles, video scripts, you name it. AI can take your current writing and help you transform it and level it up. The prompts you want to use to do this are a bit open-ended depending on what your goals are, but let me give you some ideas of what you could do. So basically for our prompt for editing and rewriting, we want to give the AI three things to do. First, we want to give it a role. Second, we want to tell it exactly what we want it to do. And you don't have to do this in a formulaic prompt engineering way. You can just talk to it as if it is your writing assistant. It's really easy, plain language, no crazy engineering or anything involved. And the third thing we do is paste in our text that we want it to edit or rewrite for us. So let me show you some examples of how this can work. So giving it a role is easy. You can simply say something like, you are an experienced writing coach. So there's lots of ways to use AI to improve your writing, depending on what your goals are. Here's a few different ideas. So you can instruct it to fix grammar and spelling. I know I mentioned that that's not a great use of AI. It can go so much farther than that, but it is something you can do. You can tell it to find and suggest alternatives for passive voice in your text. This is the rewrite in different styles prompt. So you would paste in your text, then give it these instructions. So rewrite this in 10 different writing styles or voices. Perhaps you want to rewrite something for a specific audience. Maybe it's a college paper or it is geared towards professionals. You can ask it to do that. So you are an experienced writing coach. Make my writing better for that specific audience and put that in there. Explain any changes you made to the original text. Here's my text and then paste your text in. Of course, feel free at any point in this process to go back and forth with the AI to make any changes. If there's something it did you didn't like, ask it to remove that and fix it or add something different. Getting really good writing outputs from AI is really reliant on you having that back and forth conversation. The second way AI can help you with your writing is to write drafts and outlines. It is a lot easier to start with something versus starting with nothing with a blank page. And AI really shines here in getting you off the ground. Basically, it can function as a cure for writer's block. One tip for this process is the more specific you can be in what you're asking for, the better the written output is going to be. There's two ways you can approach this. First is when you are starting a writing project from scratch and say, maybe you want to start with an outline. So here's a prompt for creating a bullet article outline using ChatGPT. You are a TikTok marketing expert, write an outline for an article about growing an audience on TikTok in 2023. The target audience is beginner business owners. Format this in bullet points with bold headings for each main section. Make sure to touch upon points one, two, and three. So if you pause this video and read this prompt, you're gonna see we have three main parts. We have assigned the AI a role we have given it step-by-step -step instructions and we've given it some input. In this case, it's not an entire text because we're starting from scratch, but we're giving it a few points to start with. And the more specific you can be in describing these things, the better the output will be. In the second case, you want help writing something and you're in the middle of the process. So maybe I am writing a script or an outline for a video and I want some help because I have writer's block and I'm stuck. I don't know what to say next. You don't have to use AI to create the whole thing. You can just use it in specific sections where you need it. And AI is really, really good at coming up with ideas that you might not come up with on your own. And that's because it's really good at volume. You can get it to generate ideas and ask it to spit out 10, 20, 50, 100 ideas, and you go through and pick the best ones. Whereas for you to do that, it might take you an hour. So the prompt I would use to do this, say to cure writer's block is this. I am writing a blog essay or article on topic. Can you write me an outline with what important points I should cover? Or if you are in the middle of the process, you can simply paste in the latest segment of whatever you're writing and ask it to continue writing the next paragraph or next few points. Again, you can work back and forth with the AI to tweak that, to edit it and get it really matching closely to your own writing style. The third way AI can help you with your writing process is to summarize. Now, this is really useful in the research phase of any writing you're doing. If you have a lot of source material to go through to read, 
AI can help you get through that a lot faster by summarizing that for you. The best tool to use for this if you are working with really long content is Claude. Too. This LLM has the biggest context window. It is 100,000 tokens, which equates to roughly 70,000 words. So you could literally upload a PDF of an entire book into it and have it make notes or summarize that book for you. So for example, say you are reading a research paper and you need to get some points out of that. You could ask the AI specific questions like what were the final conclusions of this paper or what were the five most important points or tell me examples the book gives for each of these major points. The second way this is really useful is say you are a content creator, you create long form content and short form. This can be really useful for say taking a script for a long form video like this one and chopping it down into bite-sized scripts for say TikToks or shorts. Here is a prompt you could use to do that. So again, we want to paste in our tags and give it specific instructions for what exactly we want it to output for us. Oh, and hot tip, I wanted to mention this, to keep track of all of these prompts that you're using for writing. For easy access, I personally store these in my AI prompts library, which is a database that I created for myself using Notion. I built this so I can easily sort through all of the prompts that I have developed myself and saved from elsewhere. And this has just saved me a ton of time. It's all right there. I can go in, quickly grab it, copy, paste, and I'm off to the races. I've turned this into a template so you can grab that for yourself as well. If you don't want to build your own from scratch, you can grab that at the link in the description below if you're interested. But on to the fourth way AI can help you improve your writing, and that is to come up with analogies, metaphors, explanations and examples. Now these are really important parts of a lot of different kinds of writing and AI is really, really good at helping you with those. And again, because AI is so good at generating ideas, it can often help you come up with better ideas than you would come up with on your own. So say you're writing a paper or an article and you wanna come up with an analogy or a metaphor to explain a complex topic. Here's the prompt I would use to do that. So. Insert your text, then give me three analogies or metaphors I can use to explain this concept better. Short and sweet, but it performs. You can also be more specific if you have any requests for what kind of metaphor or what topic you want it to cover, you can do that as well. I would do that basically by adding on to that same prompt, at least one must reference, say, Star Wars. You can also do something similar if you need examples of something to include in your writing. So here's the prompt I would use for that. So insert the text that needs examples, then help me add examples for each major point to make the concept clearer and more accessible to a wider audience. Your goal is to write examples so non-expert readers can easily relate to the ideas and anchor the concepts in real world scenarios. The instructions are gonna be a little different for you depending on what you actually want, but feel free to customize that to get the kind of examples that fits whatever it is you're writing. The fifth way AI can help you with your writing is to improve your writing through famous frameworks. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically, we can have the AI apply different frameworks or theories from industry experts into our writing. And this is a use case that I'm really excited for. So let me give you a couple of examples. So for copywriting, if I want to write really good sales copy for my sales page, I could use a prompt to encode the knowledge of famous copywriter Edward Bernays. So basically I'd want to take Edward Bernays framework for writing really good copy, encode that into a prompt and then teach the AI to use that to improve my writing that I paste into it. Another example, if I'm a fiction writer writing a novel, maybe I want to take some of Stephen King's writing advice from his famous book on writing, encode some of that into a prompt to teach the AI and then get the AI to improve my writing based on those rules. So here's one I've created for myself for writing really good viral YouTube video titles. I haven't based this off of a specific expert's framework, but I have included a bunch of rules and principles that I have learned that I know are important to creating good titles. So you can see here, I've included a lot of those instructions for the AI to follow. So when the AI generates a bunch of title ideas for me, it follows those rules and I know they're going to be good right from the get go. If you want to set up a prompt like this for yourself, this is the framework I would follow to do that. So. You are a helpful expert writing coach. I want you to help me improve my writing to be, and then enter your goals. This is the framework I want you to follow. And then here's where you would describe the main principles or rules of the framework or the step-by-step -step instructions. Then here are the constraints. And then the last part, here's my writing and insert the text that you want it to improve. So this is set up to make edits and improvements to writing you've already created, but you could also do something similar to generate new writing like I have with my 
YouTube title prompt. You don't have to follow this exact structure, but it has all of the components in there to make sure you aren't missing anything important. And the sixth way you can use AI in your writing is you can teach it to write in your specific voice. Most people do not prompt LLMs very well, and you can tell by the writing that it spits out. It sounds robotic, it sounds generic, and at a glance, you can probably tell that they used ChatGPT, which we want to avoid. So here's the write like me prompt. So first we want to give it instructions to learn our voice and style and give it some examples to learn from. For the examples you want to include, I'd say three to 10 pieces of writing, depending on how long it is. So for something like titles or tweets, I might do 10, but for something more long form, like a short article or a thread, then three is plenty. You want to provide examples based on the type of content that you want to write. So if I'm writing tweets, I want to give it examples of tweets that I've written in the past. If I'm writing an article, I want to give it snippets of articles I've written in the past. Next, we give AI instructions to create something using our voice and style that it just learned. So next copying my tone of voice and style of writing, I want you to write this piece of content about this topic. We want to provide it with a bit of context of that topic and what we want it to cover. And then we finish it off with our constraints. Once you've done that, the AI should be trained and generating writing in your specific style and voice. I hope you found something in there that was helpful. If you're ready to take things to the next level with AI, you can grab my free AI prompts cheat sheet at the link in the description below. This is going to help you outperform 98% of ChatGPT users. If you're interested in learning even more writing tips for ChatGPT, then you can check out this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.